This week on the Aggie Spotlight, we've got Brazos Valley Bomber player and uh, I think a third generation Aggie athlete, Texas A&M baseball player Adam Smith. Am, am I right about that? Is are you a third generation Aggie athlete? Yeah, yeah, I'm a third generation. It's like a tradition in your family, huh? Your is it your your grandfather was on the Aggie track team and yeah, yeah, my grandfather was on the Aggie track team. Uh, my aunt went here. My mom played basketball. My dad played ba- or baseball, and uh, my older brother's here now. My one of my younger brothers is coming here next year. <laughs> that's that, that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, to have such a history in there. And so your dad played with Mark Johnson. Was that maybe whenever he came there and had his last game? Was was that maybe more special? for you because of that like did your well, dad you know, to come? I, I was playing the base this year and i actually got to talk to, or talk to coach johnson and uh i really enjoyed that especially whenever we retired his uniform uh he was he was asking you know if my dad was there and i told him he was definitely here and you know they had a good conversation after the game and whatnot but uh you know it was, it was really cool to actually meet the meet the coach that my dad got to play for and it was fun playing against him that is really cool so with your dad playing baseball at a&m did was that always your goal? Is that what you always wanted to do, or did you play any other sports in high school? Did you... Well, I played football in high school, and, you know, I love football, and I still miss it. But, uh, you know, initially my dad was my high school baseball coach, and, uh, you know, my whole goal before I made it to varsity was you know, playing baseball with my dad and winning the state championship. But once that didn't happen, I realized that, you know, there's more to this, and I got the opportunity to play at A&M, and I couldn't be more thankful. Yeah, I, I, I guess there's this that point where you have to choose one, and that's always a tough a tough point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Growing up in uh, the Houston area, did you have were you like a big Astros fan? Oh yeah, I love the Astros. Uh, you know, I, I love the Astros as bad as they are right now. They're still my team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a sad time with Astros right now, but it is. But we're we're, we're making a comeback, no doubt. Yeah, maybe. Uh, wasn't Gonzo drafted by the Astros? Gonzo and Steve Martin were both picked up by the Astros. Maybe there'll be some of the young blood that helps bring the Astros back. Well, I hope so. That'd be <laughs> awesome to see either one of them up there at that level. I somehow I'm confused about, and you've you've always played infield, correct? Yes. So are are you moving over to pitcher, or because the Brazos Bombers say that say that you're a pitcher for them? Yeah, well, I am pitching and I'm playing a uh, third base and a little bit of you know kind of everywhere, but mostly third base and pitching. But yeah, I'm definitely getting some innings in. I'm actually going to be pitching uh, tomorrow night. Is that something you want to move over to doing or to be able to do, like uh, come you in know, and I, relief? Or yeah, I, I definitely think it's something I can do. You know, I, I've always had a, a good arm, and everyone knows that. And you know, uh, I like to you know show that I have a good arm, and pitching is the easiest way to do that. But I'm not entirely ready to give up hitting, you know. That's something that I'm passionate about, something that I love, and you know, I, I still think I have a, you know, a good chance at making it pretty good, making it pretty far with my bat. Yeah, I guess it always helps to be versatile, but I, I, I think the most fun about baseball is is hitting. Yeah, that's, no doubt. <laughs> that's my preference too. What What would you say about your, um, you know, your, your, I guess your experience so far at A&M? You know, I couldn't have asked for more with my experience here at A and M. You know, I got. I got the opportunity to play uh, my first three years, and uh, you know who knows if I'm coming back for my second year. But as good as we were this year, you know, winning the Big 12 regular season, winning the Big 12 tournament, uh, taking down a regional, going to Florida State halfway across the country in someone else's park, and uh, winning the Super Regional to make it to Omaha. And even though we went 0 and 2, that was the experience of a lifetime in Omaha. And as good as we were this year, I think we're going to be as good, if not better. So. Actually, there's a lot of good things coming for uh, this program here at a it's, it's very beneficial to have uh, a lot of guys that have, have been there and done that. And now we, uh, you know, everyone knows what it takes, and just to get some new guys suited up and ready to go and get them on the, you know, the same page as all these older guys that have been there before. You know, I, I feel like it's going to be much easier to get back there, and we have a great shot to do it. How did you uh, make the decision to stay here and play with the Bombers? Was it helpful that you could stay here in Aggieland and be so close to home? You know, yeah, I mean, that, that was a big reason. You know, I, I felt like uh, I needed to have a good summer, and in order to have a good summer, I needed to be as close to home as possible. And uh, you know, I really feel like you know, just being close to my family and friends will really benefit me in the long run, especially for this summer.
Uh, speaking of uh, Bombers' experiences, how was playing with with Coach Blair last, or I think it was last week? Uh, yeah, yeah, that that was pretty funny. You know, everyone got a good laugh about it, and he actually uh, tipped the ball and he squared around to try and bunt one. But it was it was pretty funny to see him get out there, and uh, <laughs> I know he enjoys the game of baseball, and it was fun to see you know everyone kind of gather around and come out and watch Coach Blair getting a little at bat for everybody and. You know, it definitely drew a crowd and it made some people happy. So it was, it was fun to watch. It, it was fun, even though even though he struck out, he he made it fun. I bet he shared plenty of uh, stories in the dugout, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have a favorite TV show? I love Seinfeld. Seinfeld's a good one. <laughs> What's your favorite? I was gonna say musician, but just what about genre? You know, what type of music do you listen to before a game or something? Before a game, I like to listen. You know, anything rock, alternative, anything. You know has a lot of guitar in it and got some drums in it, something to get you pumped up, ready to go. When, whenever you played football, were you a quarterback? Yeah, yeah, I was a quarterback. So I guess that helps you a lot when uh, yeah. with this pitching, a lot of the same stuff. Yes, yeah, very similar. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like any other sport? I mean, you, you like football. Do you, are you an Oilers fan or a Texans fan? I'm definitely a Texans fan. Uh, I love the Texans and I love the Patriots. Those are my two good teams on the – on the NFL, but uh, I also love watching soccer. So I'm, I'm a big soccer fan, and I also love the NHL. The NHL is very – I love watching hockey. <laughs> I kind of like almost everything, so, you know, yeah, I give everything here. at least <laughs> one shot. Ho- hockey's pretty intense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was I was loving the NHL finals this year. I was just talking to to Jacob House. Yeah. It would have been last week for, for the listeners, but he was talking about the soccer game too. Did you watch any of the Women's World Cup? I didn't get a chance to watch it today, but I know that we won and uh, we're in the finals, so that was good to hear. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, like, do you have a favorite team? Like, I, I think I enjoy watching the world soccer, like the national stuff, more than like the mate, oh, like yeah, the yeah. Aggie team. Definitely, I love watching the, uh, you know, like the World Cup and all that good stuff. But you know, I still watch you know, like Manchester United and Chelsea and Liverpool and all those teams. Those. I, soccer is a fun sport to watch. You know, it's just never ending back and forth nonstop. So it's really easy to watch. Yeah. I, I've never played, but it seems like people have to be pretty athletic for that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. What, what are your hopes for the future? Like, I'm just majoring in sport management. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hopefully uh, I can make this uh, baseball thing last quite a while. But if not, you know, be a come coach. back. Yeah, get a degree, become a coach or, you know, whatever. Whatever comes my way, you know. A lot of times in a uh, baseball world, it's all about who you know. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, I meet that right person. You know. Definitely, I hope so. And uh, I thank you for taking out the time. And best of luck. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks.